I want to introduce you to Christina Safran from Project Heal. An amazing organization that we are very glad to, um, to be collaborating with and to be, to be working with on things. And I wanted, we wanted to do something kind of neat right here. So you've all heard a lot that's going on in the, in the field. Um, we want to get some feedback from you now that you've spent the day with all of us. So you'll see on your, um, on your tables are some index cards and some golf pencils. We're going to do a little brainstorming. And Christina and I are going to walk around and kind of, kind of um, help and observe. And, and we're going to gather up those, those sheets. And we were going to do a more elaborate thing. Um, but we're going to just going to skip to the, skip to the good stuff. Is it going to work? It's not going to work for me. Yeah. Make it work, Marky. Laura, can I tell them what Project Heal is? Yeah. Is let, okay? let me let Christina tell you a little about Project Heal. Hey, guys. Thank you guys so much for being here today. This is always an amazing event. Second year, and I hope it continues every year at AED. Uh, just to tell you a little bit about Project Heal, we're super excited to be collaborating with FEAST. I see FEAST as the real grassroots community of parents. We are the real grassroots community of patients. Um, and so our, our mission is to provide access to healing for all people with eating disorders. We ensure that folks have quality, close to home, affordable treatment for as long as they need it and communities of people who understand what they're going through. Um, and for those of you who are in New York and have children, uh, family members who are in New York and want support, we run a peer support program. We have weekly community support groups run by trained recovered peers uh, every Monday night right now uh, in Midtown that are free, open to everybody, and are exciting, excited to hopefully be collaborating with Feast on a, on a parent version of the program. So stay tuned. How, can you give us some information about how to find that? Um, after, this, after this event, if you go to the Feast site, and uh, pretty much anything that we've discussed, I'm going to be putting links to the, how to contact everyone and anything that's mentioned as soon as I go through the transcript for the, for the day. So you'll lose nothing, I promise. We were going to do a more elaborate thing called World Cafe, but um, time is short, and we value so much what you are going to be able to help us with today. So you'll see these, um, a, a long list of things that, that FEAST could prioritize, that the parent, com uh, pri the parent community could prioritize. But after spending the day thinking about eating disorders and families, what I'd really like you to do in each of uh, your tables is work together on uh, getting at least three, uh, prioritizing at least the top three of these up here. Or if you think, can think of a priority that we should be going for that isn't on the list, hey, just put it in. But I would like to leave today with a stack of uh, these index cards with top priorities from this group after this day. And Christina and I will walk around and clarify. Are we collaborating as a table coming up with one card or three? Yes. If each table could collaborate on one card with three top priorities. Go. If there is a priority that you don't see up there that you feel really strongly should be included, go ahead and put it down. Christina? There you are. So... I, I so hate making you stop talking because I know that this is a really, really, really valuable part of meeting each other. So I hope that you're taking contact information and that this is the beginning of relationships and not just your only chance to be with this community. So 
you were you went around with uh, with everybody. What um, what uh, what things did you hear from people? In the groups that I talked to, and I didn't make it all the way around, but training and education seemed to be really, really popular. Um, I heard a lot of access to quality treatment, which obviously I love. I mean, all of these are so important, yeah. but that's, that's a big part of our mission. Um, and incorporating the patient and family voice into research. That's true. So let's see. <laughs> We don't have time to go around the whole room and ask, um, you know, how, how it went in your groups. So I'm going to ask somebody from each of your groups to come bring me your card before we, before we go. Um, but could we just have one or two people stand up and say what you came up with in your groups? Just maybe a couple. That back table. Do you want me to take the uh, mic? <laughs> I'll let you hold this one. Oh, can I? Oh. Hold it up okay. close. All right. So we uh, kind of made up our own, and um, y y you have one there addressing weight stigma, but we said um, reducing stigma around eating disorders among the general public and among professionals. Because, uh, and maybe we want to change that to reducing stigma and misunderstanding. Um, so all of us experience the people, you know, people who suffer, whose families suffer other tragic diseases. And, you know, I'm going to a fundraiser for somebody who's being treated here in New York from my town for leukemia. Great. I've been driving back and forth to Manhattan uh, two hours each way, and people know that. Uh, I mean, so uh, it, it, that idea that, oh, we don't support, you know, people whose children have this disease, but other diseases they do. So that's a big problem. Right here. One more. One more? Okay. Because we can only get a taste of what we really want to hear from all of you. But you're going to give me your cards, so. The two different things that haven't been mentioned yet that our group talked about was um, a strong desire and need for information on, on how to start caregiver in-person support groups and also a listing of where are they already so that those who want to start can get information. So that was one. And the other was, which we heard about a lot in our breakout session, was sibling support and the importance of support for siblings. May I, may I say that we just, um, you probably haven't noticed yet that we have a new website and we have a new international eating disorder event and support calendar, which lists every single support group that we can find in the world that includes parents. Um, we're going to expand that to support groups for anyone. Uh, but please, we'd only know that someone's there if they let us know that we're, they're there and use that calendar, please. 